Hello and welcome to this online tutorial on how to use Google Docs. This is part three in our series and we're going to actually look at how to use the spreadsheet feature or application within Google Docs. So we're going to go up to the upper left and we're going to create a new spreadsheet. Now if you've used Excel or you used Apple's numbers, this is very similar. Right up here you have your header row which they've used this divider to uh, to separate the header from the rest of the text. If you don't want a header, you can definitely get rid of this. But for our purposes today, we're going to actually keep the header there. Again, the toolbar is pretty consistent across Google Docs. You have your undo and redo, and then some other tools that we're going to get into a little bit later. But for our purposes today, we're going to actually look at how to create a gradebook-like document. Now. In our district, there's a lot of people who use Easy Grade Pro or different grade applications. And while this isn't the best solution, I think this will give you an idea of what you can actually do with Google Docs. So if, if to start, we'll go up here and type in students, and that'll be our students header. And we need an assignment, so we'll go homework. And just for our purposes, we'll make it out of 15 points. And again, that's just text, so it's not going to do anything having the number there and we'll create a percentage and then we'll go quiz Oops. and that'll be out of 50 points percentage and then overall percentage and again this process will help us see a lot of the features available in Google Docs especially within the spreadsheet so we'll start out here with student 1 and if you click the return key, it'll actually drop down a line. So we'll go st student 2 and then student 3. And what's actually kind of nice is a lot of spreadsheet applications have this feature. But if you select 3 in the bottom right corner, you'll see a little dot. Now what that's going to do is it's going to recognize that there's a pattern here. So student 1, 2, and 3 it's going to recognize that the name student is consistent but the one two and three is part of a pattern so we're going to drag this down and you'll see that it keeps the word student but then replicates the number and actually adds one each time because it recognizes a pattern this is very useful if you want to just do numbers we could always go in our left column here and add one more and just do numbers without the word student and that would work too. So let's go ahead and add some grades. So for homework they got 13 and for the quiz they got 43 and we won't touch any of the percentages yet. So now let's go in and add the second student and let's say they did not do particularly well and they did not do well on that quiz. So now we have two homework and quiz grades and we'll add our percentage equation. So to make an equation, we're going to type the equal sign. And this is just a very simple equation. It's one number divided by another. So we know if the homework is out of 15, we're going to take the score they got divided by 15. And you'll see it's 0.866 repeating. And what we can do is, again, we're going to use that bottom right-hand corner feature. That is our copy. And it's going to copy the formula for every student and it's going to be specific to this cell so for example right here it takes 13 but you'll see here it takes 8 and then any number added entered afterwards would be taken and we're going to do the same for the quiz so we're going to go equals D the D column divided by the number 50 we'll take that formula and drag it down now, to get the overall percentage, we're going to take these two numbers and we're going to add the points possible. So again, it's going to be equals. Now, because we're adding multiple cells together, we're going to need to do a parentheses. So we'll click the parentheses key, click on B2 plus D2 and parentheses and then divided by, we know the grade is out of 65 and then that's the overall percentage 
And obviously, these numbers were probably not the best because their percentages are pretty equal. So let's go ahead and change this just so we can see the difference. And you get a 79. And obviously, that raises the overall percentage. We'll drag that down. And now, right now, these are decimals and they don't look pretty. So what we can do is we can select the cell and over in our toolbar is the percentage. Click the percentage button and we'll do the same for these cells. And now you can see they're in percentage. And again, this is just some of the things that you can do within a Google Docs spreadsheet. Now certainly the same thing applies as if you've seen the Word doc or the tutorial, you know that Again, Google Docs is a web-based version of Microsoft Office or uh, iWork for Apple. But the great thing about this is you can go ahead and share this information. Or you can have multiple people working on a spreadsheet. Which is a very nice feature if you want multiple people entering information. So, for example, if you're lo looking to do any progress monitoring or in any type of special situa situation where you have multiple people contributing information this is a great repository for it and you can do simple calculations within it and again this has been the google docs spreadsheet once again to end it we'll go up here to our top go to untitled spreadsheet we'll change it to gradebook and we are done so again this is how to create and use a spreadsheet within google docs our next tutorial is going to look at how to use the presentation part and then we'll look at some of the more advanced features later on.